Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Times Up Fantasy Sports Talk. I am your host, the one and only Wave of Wire Queen. On today's episode, I am going to give you two, two players I know you should prioritize on the wire and pick them up in fantasy basketball. If you've been listening and watching, you've already put a claim in or picked them up because they may not be available too much longer. But before we get into that, Y'all hit that subscribe button and follow Waiver Wire Queen for more on fantasy sports to include fantasy football and fantasy basketball. And I'm going to keep you current with all the sports news because let's face it, if you have no clue what's going on in the sports world, how the hell are you going to compete in your fantasy league? You don't want to start a player who's injured or a player who's say, been waived or just not getting the minutes anymore or a player who's just been traded to a situation that's not good for them and so they're not producing but me and you you're here with with the waiver wire queen we're here together so you know what we're not going to have any of that happen because we're current and we know what's going on and we're making all the right moves and we're doing all the right things and we're staying current so we can compete and win in our fantasy football league and our fantasy basketball league but let's get right into it so i've been screaming at these two guys for weeks, I've been saying, Adam, go on and Adam. Adam, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to bust into a, a, a freestyle. No, 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 not today. I'm going to save my rapping abilities for another day. But no, seriously, these two guys, if you haven't prioritized picking them up, you better do so now because I've been screaming it for the last three weeks. Some people are laughing like, huh, him? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Okay. First choice, Jalen Brunson for the Mavs. Guard, point guard. Probably throwing him in at shooting guard every now and then. I'm sure they are. Pick him up ASAP. I was able to pick him up. I said, you know what, Takia, go on and listen to the Wave of Wire Queen. I'm listening to myself. Wave of Wire Queen, that's right. Picking up players who I've been recommending you guys pick up. I said, let me look back at one of my episodes. Who else? Oh, Jaden Brunson. Yes, he he's rostered in, in what, 27% of leagues. So he's available in like over 70% of leagues. That's a, a lot. That gives you a chance. That means he is possibly available in one of your leagues. He was available in two of mine and I picked him up, even if it's just for a few weeks. I pick him up because I'm struggling. I have a lot of injuries, so many injuries that if I wasn't able to pick someone I like him up, I wouldn't even be able to compete this week. But I listened to myself, and guess what? I'm actually in, in, in a position to win every league I'm in this week. I'm in four leagues, and I'm in a position to win because I added a player like Jalen Brunson. I listened to me, listened to the waiver wire queen, and I – took my own advice and I added him. And let's face it, some of the leagues you're in, you may be limited in your options on what you can do because some leagues, they do not have IR slots. Like I have IR slots in my leagues and most of the leagues I'm in have IR slots, slots but a few they do not. So if, if you've been hit with the injury bug or you lost some players for a few games up to a few weeks, several weeks due to uh, health and safety protocol due to COVID, then guess what? You you got some players just sitting on your bench and you can't even move them in the IR slot because there isn't an IR slot in your league. So then you just sit the, either sit those players there and suffer the losses or you add someone like Jalen Brunson. You drop your worst player who's on the bench who's hurt and bring in Jalen Brunson because right now it's hard out there on the free agent wire you have to comb through and pick through and you just combing through like you're combing your hair and you're like, oh, Jalen Brunson, let me pick him up. Or you're probably thinking like, wait, but why a queen? There's no one. There's no one available. I'm on page three. There's no one. This guy doesn't even play. Go back to page one. Jalen Brunson's out there, 70% of the leagues. He's pretty much almost not available anymore in my leagues because I've picked him up in two. I'm only in four leagues so just I didn't probably look at those or I know notice someone else added them in another gotta do what you gotta do you gotta work the wire sometimes especially at times like this when 
players, several players are hurt or out because of the, the COVID situation. So let's talk a little bit more about Jalen Brunson. What is he doing? He's giving you 20 fantasy points. If you pick him up, he's going to give you 20 fantasy points. He's taking advantage of his opportunity and he's playing solid basketball. He is owned in over 70% of leagues. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Hmm. And he's gonna give you uh he's he's gonna give you at least 12 points a game. He is uh averaging 24 minutes, which is really good. That means he's going to give you a chance to potentially win. What if it's the who you're playing is the difference between 10, 15 points? Well, you got his 20 points. Guess what? He may have won. He may have helped you win, or he he may have just helped you get by a day or two because you just didn't have anyone to start because you are really struggling due to the injuries. Like me, I got top players. I, at two of my leagues, I got top, my top draft pick. Number one, I mean, first round, injured. One guy, number one pick, injured. Probably shouldn't have picked him, but, you know, I was feeling myself that let me go with him. I don't know. In my mind, I was like, I knew he was going to be hurt, but you know, wave wire queen don't listen to herself sometimes. It is what it is. I do that all the time in 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 fantasy basketball. But nonetheless, with a player like Jalen Brunson, if you picked him up, if you've been listening and watching, you picked him up, and guess what? He's giving you the 20 points. He's shooting over 52% from the field, which is really good. And then he's giving you at least three rebounds and three assists, which isn't bad. That's bonus, you know. And he's helping you get by and potentially win the week okay and for a player who's shooting uh 50 from the field if you're in a, a league and it's uh categories based and, and field goal percentage is important and that's one of the categories there you go 50 52 is really good and really solid and why the hell not add him it's not about the names it's about the points and if it's it's about the points and if it's categories it's about the categories this player is doing really well in this category so guess what Right now, I have a bunch of your players. This guy is going to help me in this category. He definitely will help you in a, a field goal category. So pick him up. Come on now. What's wrong with you? What, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting to lose? Come on now. Let's be real. Some of these injuries have probably cost you a few weeks, a few games. So now you just got to do what you got to do. If you're desperate for a win, hell, that's a great option right there. Okay, guys, now my next option, my second player you should have added because I've been saying it for a few weeks. I've actually, I even mentioned this to someone and they laughed at me. And I'm like, you laughing at the waiver wire queen? I know you ain't laughing at me. Mm. Malik Monk. That's right. Malik Monk is playing for the Hornets. And guess what? He's playing well. He is playing very, very good basketball. He is making the most of his opportunity and taking advantage of that opportunity because um, Terry was hurt. And now um, Devontae, he's out. Uh, Graham's hurt. Young man is hurt. Uh, he's actually, to me, playing better than uh, Graham has played all season. So why not prioritize Malik Monk and pick him up? He's He's playing well. And right now, like I said, if you are struggling and like you don't know who to pick up, he's out there. He's only rostered in 22% Yahoo leagues. That's not good at all. That's very low for a player who just dropped 25 points last night. If you picked him up like, like I did last night, 25 points, I ended up with uh, 28.5 fantasy points in, in one league. He had 25 points, five rebounds. What did he do over the last uh, last three games? 25 points, 29 points, 20 points. Look, right now, you need points. If you are struggling due to injuries, you, you need to add players. And, and it's hard to find solid players who are going to give you 17, 18, 19, 20 points. He's averaging 17 and a half uh, fantasy points right now. And they, they Charlotte need to keep him in the rotation because the waiver wire queen said so. All right, MJ, do, do, do waiver wire queen a favor and keep him in the, um, keep him in the rotation. So he's he, 21 minutes 
12 and a half points, 46% from the field, which is really good. It means give me like two rebounds, maybe assists here or there. But what they are using him for is points. Some days you it may be hit or miss and you just got to use judgment. And that's when you go, you dig deeper and you start looking at other things like who is he playing against? How's their defense? Is Devontae Graham back or check to see it. have they been playing him well the last several games he's been getting over the last 10 games he's been getting over um <clears throat> at least 20 20 23 24 minutes so why not play him I mean why not pick him up and and, and play him you know if you're in a, a league with you don't have an IR slot so it's like you're gonna have to drop somebody otherwise you won't be able to to make a comeback in the second half of the season if you don't make some sort of adjustment, right? And a great thing today is, well, a few days ago, whatever, Yahoo, they added the IR plus slot, which is better than just their, their standard IR slot because the standard IR slot, you can only add someone that's tabbed as injured. So you have players out and they're just sitting there. You can't add them. IR slot, the IR plus slot, you can add... Um, the injured, the out, I think game time decision, uh, game time decision, you can add those players. At least the most you should have been able to add is an injured and out player because out, they're not going to play. So if you guys are in a fantasy basketball league and your commissioner hasn't done done that yet, holler at your commission say, hey, commish, you're going to add the IR plus slot in, in the Yahoo League? Or if you are a commissioner, you need to do so to kind of help and make your your league more flexible and and give some more flexibility to to the to the managers because without without an IR slot it's just it's, you're gonna teams are gonna sink and you're gonna see players who should not be on the wire on the wire because players who are out are are really are top players who are out several top players so do your league a favor and add the IR slot. And if you're in Yahoo, add the IR plus slot. Okay, so that that's all for that. You know, I, I took advantage and, and did that for my 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 league. So uh, I'm expecting my my managers to thank me. But if they don't, whatever, I, it's all good. It's all good. But anyways, I said I was only gonna add. I was only gonna give you two, but I'm going to give you a third option, who I think is uh, a solid option, and I I actually. Um, before he he came back from injury, I actually had him in my uh, watch list, and then I just forgot to add him. Like, what's it? You know, I don't know. Just wasn't thinking about it. And somebody picked him up, and he has played solid um, basketball this season. Derek White. That's just a bonus because I noticed he has he's a, he's being dropped in some leagues because I guess when you're in a league where you don't have an IR slot, that's gonna kind of limit the flexibility of, of of the manager and it's gonna put the manager in a position it may maybe in a bind I'll say and you you're dropping players who shouldn't be dropped but it is what it is so um Derek White in Yahoo leagues he is rostered in 62 percent Yahoo leagues and that's high however if they don't have an IR slot or if it's just like say you have more than more players injured than the amount of IR slots you you have available, then you may have to drop him because you may be in a desperate situation to where you have to drop him and ask someone else because you need those points. You need the body. You need the player. So what has he done since he came back from that injury at the beginning of the season? He um, he's averaged twenty one fantasy points, which is really good. What did he do when he when he was playing? He's been they've postponed several games, so he's been out. He um, He's been solid. So he's someone who, if he is on the wire because someone just said, I can't wait any longer and I don't have any IR, IR slot, you you add him. His last game played, he had 25 points. He's at least going to give you 23 minutes when he comes back, 11 points. Um, his field goal percentage needs to go needs to improve. He's only at 39. And he'll at least give you the 21 fantasy points, which is really good, like, 21 points is is a is a lot if if this player is going to be someone who's coming off your bench and just you know spot star here or there unless there's a major injury and then you have to start him 
that's better than what may be available to you on, on the wire in your uh, league. So if he's out there and you can you can take the hit, or if it's not a hit, and he just rides your bench until he comes back, go on and put that claim in for him and pick him up. All right, y'all, let me know who y'all think are the top waiver ads, free agent ads in fantasy basketball this week. Those are my top two. And then a uh, bonus if you can pick up White, pick him up if he's available. Who who do y'all got? Who ha- Also, who have you picked up this past week? Because I know who I picked up because I've been listening to myself. If y'all been listening to the Waver Wire Queen, we gonna have to say, y'all gonna have some great responses for me. All right, y'all. Y'all been great. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me for more on sports. Also, follow me on Facebook and IG at Dream Elite Strive for Excellence. And that is excellence with the X. And also hit me up on Facebook and IG at Waver Wire Queen for more on sports. Because without sports, where would we be at? I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have sports. But nonetheless, y'all have a great evening. Peace.